You pick up your dishes uh, from the kitchen uh, or that area at least uh, on your way out. We don't need uh, any of that stuff left. Uh, and I already got my, my seconds that I hit up here uh, from dessert so I can go home and make some uh, more coffee to go with those. Hey, uh, a great joke from uh, Brother Phil this morning. Um, and you'll laugh because it's not mine. Uh, a farmer and his wife spent the morning loading their pumpkin crop onto a truck. When they finished, they sat in the shade of an oak tree to rest. The farmer began musing about the nature of things and told his wife, You know, God made a mistake. He put those big pumpkins on small vines and tiny acorns on this big oak tree. If I were God, I'd have put the small fruit on the small plants and the big fruit on the big plants. Just then... A squirrel scampered through the tree overhead, sending a shower of acorns down under their heads. The farmer's wife turned to her husband and said, Lucky for us, you're not God. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open with a word of prayer, and then we'll sing, and then uh, we will have our offering here in just a moment. We'll have our uh, afternoon slash evening offering here at the beginning of our service, so you can prepare yourselves for that. Let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this, this afternoon. Thank you for this time that you've uh, allowed us to gather uh, to think about the ministry of Junietta Baptist Church and Junietta Christian School. Lord, I pray that you'd give us a wonderful year. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to reach uh, into our community, into our families uh, here and around our area uh, to uh, raise young people to know Christ as their Savior and uh, to see them grow in, in, in your knowledge. And uh, Lord, I ask that you give us a wonderful time this afternoon as we pray and think about uh, the many things to come. Lord, I pray that you would uh, be with us this afternoon. This is your time, and we simply give it back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Would you stand with me and sing hymn number 303. Hymn number 303, Glory to His Name. Let's sing it out. the cross where my Savior died, down where for cleansing from sin I cried, there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. to his name. 
If you know Jesus Christ is your Savior, you should sing that out really, really nice and loud. Amen? Uh, glory to his name. We're going to have the guys come forward for our afternoon offering. Make sure that you check out your bulletin for any uh, pertinent uh, information and dates to put on your own calendar. Uh, make sure that you are involved here in the things that God has uh, provided for us. Uh, school uh, tomorrow starts tomorrow. We have some special meetings in just a few more weeks uh, with Caleb Reed, Evangelist Caleb Reed. So be in prayer for those as well as being here uh, when you can for those, all right? All right, Brother Barrage, would you lead us in a word of prayer for our afternoon offerings? Amen. Amen, Abby. Thank you. Uh, next, we'll be singing hymn number uh, 305, Burdens Are Lifted at Calvary. Days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and drear. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Cast your care on Jesus today. Leave no worry and fear. Special will, or afternoon, I guess, before the special will be uh, 303. Glory to his name. Would you please stand with me for this one? Oh, I said the wrong thing, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 272, Jesus is all the world to me. I didn't get a map.
so wonderfully tonight. We're going to sing the last one without the piano. I know I do this a lot, but it's pretty awesome up here. Jesus is all the world to me. I want no better friend. I trust him now. I'll trust him when life's sweet What a privilege to be able to sing and to even hear the truth that no matter what is going on in the world around us, it, our souls can be well with Christ. Uh, the, the world can seem to be chaotic and spinning and troubling, but we know that our souls 
are at peace with God, it is well with my soul. Well, this afternoon we're going to take just a little bit of time here and uh, we're going to uh, pray for and just think on uh, the ministry of Junietta Christian School. I, I would like to show you a picture, and we can put that picture up as, whenever you are ready, Mr. Prill. Discovered by Charles Messier in 1773, M51 is located approximately 31 million light years from Earth in the constellation Canis Venatici. This is what NASA has to say about this beautiful, beautiful creation of our God. The graceful winding arms of the majestic spiral galaxy M51 appear like a grand spiral staircase sweeping through space. They are actually long lanes of stars and space gases laced with dust. Such striking arms are a hallmark of so-called, and I quote, grand design spiritual, uh, grand design spiral, not spiritual, spiral galaxies. In M51, also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, these arms serve an important purpose. They are star formation factories. The Whirlpool Galaxy's beautiful face-on view as depicted as, as photographed by the Hubble telescope allows the Earth or allows astronomers here on Earth to study a classic spiral galaxy structure and their star forming processes. You know, each one of those, and you might not be able to see it that well, but it's it's a beautiful picture, but each one of those little bright pink or red dots you see there are, are its own microcosm. It's a, its own spinning little uh, planet. It, it's a star being born. It's, uh, and, and if you look carefully, uh, and I know you can't see it from there, but uh, if you get a really close-up view of it, you can even see that many of those small little dots that are going in circle around a, a, a very bright center of power, uh, you can even see that those little tiny red specks have circling things around them. It's almost like a, a, a mini galaxy within a galaxy. I picked M51 for a special reason for us today. Junietta Christian School just finished its 51st year of existence, training and sending young people out. Speaking to our teachers, but I'm also speaking to our church, may we never forget the center of what we do must be the power of God. Look at that. Such magnificent power holding it all together. May we never forget that the center of what we do must be the power of God. We function through the power of God. We, we are blessed by the power of God. We draw others to the power of God. This year, each of our students will appear maybe even as one of those little dots that are circling in the grand scheme of things. They'll have their own experiences, the uh, social, family, education, sports. Their life will be a separate entity from the next. Separate experiences. While also being closely tied to the whole. May we be understanding of the swirling winds of their experience. M51 Reminds me a lot of JCS. It says in Psalm 91, I'll read it for you, you don't need to turn there. It says in Psalm 91, verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord. Does anybody know what's next? He is my refuge and my fortress. My God. In him will I trust. 
church and, and staff, God is our refuge. He is the center of our power. He is who we run to. He is who we function through. His, he is the power source. We all have different things going on in our lives, but we can all draw near to the same power source. We can find refuge in the fortress of God's love and grace this year. Teachers, as we function in our role in this always moving ministry, may we be always about the business of training and sending out the next generation to serve the Lord. Just like these circling arms in M51, the galaxy here, the Whirlpool galaxy, it seems to be spinning and constantly moving. But what, are they, what is the purpose of those arms? Those is to create more stars and send them on their way, still tied to the very same power source. JCS, Junietta Christian School, like M51 here, can be a Christian servant producing ministry if we stay focused on what holds us together, and that is God's love and power. We need to begin this year by tapping into that power source. And I know that uh, the, our, our staff has had a busy summer. It, we're coming back into a, a busy school year and we're hitting the ground running. And we have many things, different things going on in our lives, but we can all still tap into the same power source through prayer, and that is prayer to God. Now, before we... I pray this afternoon, or we'll pray several times here, but I'm going to read for you each of the names of our students, uh, and, and then we'll get to our staff. And once I get to the staff, uh, I would ask, and, and I'll, I'll ask you to come down, but um, the staff that are with us here today, and thank you for those that, are, that have come in from other uh, locations. Uh, I'm going to have you line up here in the front in just a minute. I'll, I'll call you up. Uh, but before we get to our staff and a prayer dedication for them, I would like to read for you uh, the names of each of our students. Uh, on the back table as you leave, some of you already saw them, uh, I've made some little bookmarks uh, for each of the classes. So on K-4, you'll see the teacher's name and then all of the students that are in K-4. And uh, I would encourage you, I don't have enough of each class for each person to grab, but I, I would encourage you to grab one or two of the, uh, of the classes back there. Uh, and maybe it's the class that you have a student in, uh, so you can see each of the names that your, your child will be with uh, each and every day. Maybe it's uh, one of the teachers you know, you wanna pray specifically for their classroom uh, and for them. Whatever it may be, uh, we have all of them back there on that back table. I encourage you, grab them and use them as a bookmark in your Bible. Use them uh, during your prayer time each and every day because we need to plug into the power of prayer for our school. Amen? Uh, we can be tied to that. So I'm going to read for you all of the names for our elementary, and then I've, I've asked Brother Kelly Carell if he would come and pray for our elementary as a whole. So in K-4, we have our teacher, Mrs. Debbie Crooks. And then in K-4 this year, we have Braylon Bennett, Harper Decker, Judson Flanders, Madison Gibbs, Memphis Putman, Boston Rhinus, Claire Robinson, Erica Van Landingham, Zandria Van Landingham, Everly Vincent, and Shiloh White. What a list, huh? That didn't scare you at all, right? <laughs> well, this is a, uh, a wonderfully, uh, wonderful class. Pray for Mrs. Crooks this year in K-4. K-5, we have Mrs. Uh, Jill Smith. And in K-5, we have Cashel Butterfield, Selena Gibbs, Joshua Halpine II, Pearson Krieger, Millie North, Emerald Putman, Ella Raymond, Bristol Rhinus, Ella Schreiber, Angelica Slusher, and Kinsley Turpening. First grade, we have Mrs. Kara Putman as our teacher. And then we have Alexia Barrage, 
Connor Butterfield, Isaac Flanders, Oliver Jones, Gideon Nichols, Ivy Putman, Casey Rose, Dylan Slusher, and Elizabeth Woodall. As I name these names off, I hope that you don't just shut your, your mind and your ears off. These names, and you don't have faces to all of them, but I, I read them for some specific reasons. Number one, I want you to realize that we have a large and growing uh, student body at our, at our school, in our ministry. I want you to hear some of those last names and, rem and, and put some pieces together so that you may pray more specifically for our teachers and as well for the families of these kids. I want you to in, in, uh, get involved in our school. I want you to get in a church, Junietta Baptist Church. You might not have a single student in our, in our student body of Junietta Christian School, but you can still be involved through prayer, through reaching out to these teachers, uh, praying specifically with them and for them, for their classroom, praying for these families in a, in a major way. Second grade, we have Miss Highland, Highland. We have Megan Barrage, Tyson, how do you say the last name? What is it? Buholz? All right. Sorry. Jonathan Curtis, Elijah Dimmick, Matthew Feldman, Adeline Henderson, Logan Jones, Wyatt Kyle, Gunnar Schreiber, Xavier Slusher, Cooper Turpening, Jameson Tom, and Tessa Yule. Third grade, we have Miss Wright. This would be uh, Pastor Wright's daughter, if, if for those of you who don't uh, know the name. Uh, this would be uh, Miss Ellie Wright. She is uh, new with us this year in third grade. We were, uh, praise the Lord, able to split third and fourth grade for the first time in quite a while. And uh, Miss Wright will be teaching for us this year. She has Benjamin Bonner, uh, Carlton Gates, Dakota Gibbs, Avery Hauk, Maddox Krieger, Josephine Nichols, Colson Raymond, June Riley, Bentley Santos, Kylie Smith, Isaiah Varner, and Owen Varner. And in fourth grade, Mr. Lipka is, is back to help us out once again. Uh, in fourth grade, and uh, he has James Bickle, Jackson Buholz, Evan Burgess, Hunter Butterfield, Delaney Childs, Wesley Corrigan, Joshua Feldman, Erica Loney, Abigail Parker, and uh, Eliana Tom. Fifth grade, we have Mrs. Dunham as our teacher, fifth and sixth grade. Still combined, fifth and sixth grade is our, uh, Mrs. Dunham is our teacher. In fifth grade, we have Alyssa Barber, Ethan Behrens, Hudson Bonner, Evelyn Gates, Zayden Gibbs, Gage Raymond, Isaiah Riggs, Dylan Santos, and Emmy Ewell. And in sixth grade, again, Mrs. Dunham, our teacher, we have Frida Bach, Carissa Behrens, Brady Childs, Shane Childs, Trevor Coulter, Chloe Curtis, Andrew Feldman, Carter Hauk, Ryan Matthews, Maggie Prill, Benson Raymond, Isaac Woodall, Joseph Woodall, and Jordan Zavitz. A lot of names. A lot of names. A lot of young lives. A lot of spinning circles around the same thing. We have a lot of families coming in that need our prayers. We have a lot of families that need not just our prayers, but maybe uh, an outstretched hand of help. Maybe some relationships to be built to draw them to the center of our power and of our joy, which is God. I've asked Brother Kelly Carell to come and pray for our elementary as a whole. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we think about of a, a new school year, Lord, and as these names were all read off, Lord, I, I just think about 
Each one has been created by you in their own special way and in the image of you. Lord, we have a great opportunity and a tremendous responsibility as a school to be able to raise these kids in their education, but Lord, not just in math and science and English, but Lord, to take these subjects that they need to learn and have it centered around Jesus Christ. That's what makes us different than other schools. Lord, if all we do is teach these young people the basics of math and English and science and these other subjects, Lord, we have failed them. So, Lord, I pray for each one of these young people. When you think about pre-K all the way through sixth grade, most of these young people will make major decisions that will last a lifetime during this time. One of the greatest decisions that a lot of these young people will make is salvation. So, Lord, I pray that you would be with each of the teachers who are in contact with these kids every day. Lord, that you would just give them the power that they need as we look at this picture up here. Everything is held together by your hand. Lord, there's going to be challenges. There's going to be some blessings. There's going to be joys and there's going to be sorrows. So Lord, I pray that you would be with each one of us as a church and as we continue to minister to these young, impressionable children. Lord, help us to be an encouragement to the teachers and to each one of the young people as we come in contact with them. But more than anything else, Lord, help us to have a life that represents Jesus Christ in the right way. Because a lot of times, everything we say kind of just flies by them. But what we do and what they see every day in our life, in our lives, is what really will change them. So Lord, I pray that you would just take each one of these kids. I don't know their faces. You know each one of them individually because you created them. And Lord, I just pray that you would just give them a heart for you. If they come here and do not know you as their Savior, I pray that this year, that through the education they are getting, that sometime during that education, that they'll be presented Jesus Christ as their Savior, and that they will accept you as their Savior, and that will change their life. And we'll give you the praise and glory that you deserve. In Christ's name I pray, amen. Thank you, brother. Moving into our junior high and high school in seventh grade, I'm, I'm not going to give teachers because we don't have specific teachers over each of the classes. However, I'll give you the full uh, list of our staff here in just a moment. In seventh grade, we have Liam Basil, Melody Barrage, Xavier Garcia, Esther Riggs, Jagger Wilzinski, and Jordan Zavitz. I read some of these names and I say, it cannot be. It cannot be. Eighth grade, Josiah Barons, Audrey Bickle, Devin Childs, Logan Childs, Jackson Craig, Joshua, Josiah, sorry, Josiah Crumrine, Caleb Feldman, Waylon Gates, Charlie Loney, Callie Meyer, Alice Varner, Abigail White, and Jordan Lee Zavitz. In ninth grade, we have Olivia Banks, Lyndon Bonner, Elena Coulter, Aiden Craig, Megan Flanders, Jacob Hauk, Anthony Matthews, Ethan Meyer, Isabel Prill, Levi Riggs, Carson Smith, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I read the wrong, one, the next one wrong. Aubrey Tom, Thomas Woodall, and Justice Zavitz. In 10th grade, we have Caitlin Behrens, Megan Bennett, Lydia Bickle, Jackson Bryan, Cheris Crumrine, Ariana Dunham, Luke Flanders, Thomas Gates, Mac Castor, Brooklyn Looney, and Abigail Mulvane. In 11th grade, we have Forrest Bach, Ethan Barrage, Evan Barrage, 
Zach Gibbs, Blake Smith, Cheyenne Weaver, Caden Wozinski, Nathaniel Wright. And our seniors this year, we have Drew Banks, Caleb Barrage, Connor Dunham, Caleb Flanders, Emma Looney, Andrew Meyer, Anna Prill, Kaylin Putman, Elena Smith, Mackenzie Woodall, and Jasmine Zavitz. What a great group of seniors, as well as 7th through 11th. Looking forward to this year. I'm looking forward to getting things started uh, with our meetings with uh, Brother Caleb Reed. He's excited to be here. Uh, a couple years ago, we adjusted um, our canoe trip with our juniors and seniors to be a um, more of a leadership weekend. So we, we added an extra day to that trip. And, uh, in, and each year, we, we've kind of added to it. And so each of the uh, well, brother Caleb Reed and his wife will be traveling with us up north for a few days. And we'll be giving some leadership uh, in, uh, special services, special meetings with our juniors and seniors. Because I think it's so important, and I, and I ask you to pray specifically for this, for our juniors and seniors, the, uh, the, the student leadership of our school uh, to start the year off right, to start it off uh, desiring God and desiring uh, to everyone else around them to know the Lord. And, uh, and the, the spirit of our school does rest in our staff, and, and, uh, but I believe that the day-to-day -day spirit of our school rises and falls with our student leadership. And so let's pray specifically for our ju juniors and seniors that even as they start this year with our leadership trip, uh, that they would uh, follow the Lord's leading and that they would um, lead our school and our young people that look up to them, uh, that they would lead them uh, to the power that is higher than them, and that is God and his love and power. I've asked Brother Bob Dunham to come and pray specifically for our junior high and high school. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, thank you for the opportunity of starting another school year. And each year in the past 50 years that the school has been operating, you've shown your hand at different times and different ways. And we pray that this year would be no different. We ask that your hand would be on each of our teachers and instructors, our staff, for Scott and Michelle, for wisdom and patience and guidance on the decisions that they will be called upon to make in the, in the days ahead. We thank you for the opportunity uh, to have the school. Uh, Lord, without you in it, uh, it would be a futile effort to try and educate anyone without your word. We thank you for the opportunity that you've given uh, for each of these students to be here. We know that the parents uh, sacrifice much to get their children here. And as they travel each day, we pray that you would watch over them and keep them safe. And the hundreds and hundreds of miles each day that our parents will put on their cars, getting students back and forth to classes, to events that go on, we'd ask that you would keep them safe and watch over them. Be with our staff. Lord, as they prepare their lessons each day, as they deal with their students, give them the wisdom they need to see uh, how they can apply your word to each situation that they're in. We ask that you would keep them uh, safe from harm. Uh, Lord, bless them with the, uh, the talents that they need to teach the classes and the students that will come before them. Uh, thank you again for your care and your goodness over this ministry in the past years. Uh, and we pray that your hand would be on us in this upcoming days. And thank you again for your guidance for those people in the past who have seen the vision of educating our children according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> this next group of people are very special. And, you know, the Lord is doing a mighty work at Junietta. Junietta Baptist Church and Junietta Christian School. He's blessing. Amen? He's blessing in a big way. And the devil doesn't like that. And if the devil had his way, he would get at this next group of people uh, in, in every area of their life that the, he can possibly get in. Because that's our staff. If you're here today and you are part of our staff at Junietta Christian School, 
Could you please come on down and in no particular order, just line up here in front of the, uh, the communion tables up here. Come on down. Oh, I want everybody to see. Basically, everybody in our auditorium gets up and comes. <laughs> it's a big ministry, lots of people. This is the, first, the only time during the year that they're told to make a line. Uh, they tell their kids every day to make lines and expect great things. And then we see this. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. We have, uh, I'm going to read off our staff names, and then I'll, I'll give a word of uh, dedication to our staff today. I'm teaching, Pastor Del Turpening, Scott Bryan, and Michelle Bryan. I want to say a special thank you to Scott and Michelle for all their work. I know there's many other hands uh, that go into the work, uh, but they have been nonstop this summer, and, and I want to thank them for all they've done, the upgrades, the, uh, the wonderful blessing. Of, of having a couple that desires the best for our students and God's best for our students is not something that we ought to take lightly. So thank you so much, Brother Scott and Michelle. Jill Smith, Debbie Crooks, Kara Putman, Ellie Wright, Rebecca Hyland, Pastor John Flanders, Gary Lipka, Jen Dunham, Rachel Prill, Kristen Bickle, Claire Krieger, Jordan Childers, should say, should say Heidi Childers. Sorry, if you grab one of the bookmarks back there, they're married, okay? Right? Amen. All right. Heidi Childers. Emily Crumrine. John Yolmans Jr. Abby Meyer. And Michelle Riggs. We have a wonderful staff. Amen? I, I, I hope and pray that you go to the throne of God for this group each and every day. Uh, parents that see this group, as you see them lined up across here, they are not your enemy, all right? Uh, they are for you. We come alongside of you, and uh, we would desire the best for your family and your students. And so I'm going to pray a, a prayer dedication here for our staff, and then I'll have you guys uh, find your seats. Lord, how great you are. Lord, we thank you so much for the ministry of Juniata Christian School. For 51 years, the school has stood for truth and the absolute truth of your word. Lord, I pray that this next year would not be any different. I pray that you would put a protection around this ministry that that protection would start around our staff, that they would work together, that they would work with the families, work with the students, that there would not just be a, a focus on the education, the, the academic aspect, but Lord, we are Juniata Christian School. That means that we care much about the spiritual development, growth of our young people here. Lord, we do not take it lightly that we have over 150 students under the leadership of this staff each and every day. Lord, we desire that you would be seen and felt in the classroom, that these students would see teachers that are faithful to your word, faithful to your work, faithful to your church, faithful to you. Lord, I pray that at the end of this year, the staff would be able to look at the young people in their classes underneath of their leadership, their example, and be able to tell them, continue in the things that they have learned. Lord, that does not start in the classroom. That starts with our staff and their families loving who you are, desiring more of you. May their personal walk with you grow deep this year. May we protect the ministry of Junietta Christian School 
first and foremost in our own hearts. May we protect ourselves from the wiles of the devil. Lord, we thank you so much for the years and years of service that is presented here before us. Lord, we do not want to become complacent in the ministry and the responsibility you've given to us. Lord, would you be with Scott? Lord, would you help him as he helps these teachers to be the best that they can be for the Lord? Lord, help these teachers as they help their students be the best that they can be for the Lord. Lord, I pray that you would guide that you would give your timing and your uh, wisdom to each classroom. May wonderful things be said about this school year at Junietta Christian School. May we see young people come to know you. May they grow deeper in their understanding of who you are and and your desire and will for their life. And Lord, I pray that this staff before us and those that are unable to be with us today, would they, would we be able to say, continue thou in the things that you've learned. Follow me as I follow Christ. Lord, we love you. We love this ministry. We thank you for the opportunity to gather each and every day of of each week to do your work. Lord, that's the training of young people to become not just children of God, but faithful servants for you. We thank you and we give this time to you. And we give this staff to you. And we give this school year to you. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said? Amen. Amen. Thank you, staff. We love you. You may find your seats. I'll just say one last thing and, and then we'll be done this afternoon. Short and sweet. I would encourage you, as a church family, do not think of that ministry on the other side of the road as its separate entity, and it is solely run on the other side of the road. It never crosses. There's no, uh, no paths that cross, so there's no sense in getting involved. There's no sense in, in praying for it. There's, you know, it's just, it just runs. It just does its thing. Friends, family, church family, this is your ministry. It's yours. The success of that ministry of Junietta Baptist Church is directly tied to your, you might not have a single student or or family member involved at all in that ministry, but its success for the Lord is directly tied to your faithfulness and prayer for it. So pray, pray fervently for that ministry. Pray for it like it's yours, because it is. Pray for our staff, pray for the the kids that are on these lists, these students. Pray for their salvations. Pray for their families. Junietta Christian School is, in a sense, our mission field. In a great sense, it is our mission field. If we are lackadaisical about our ministry reaching the families and and the entire ministry that is a mere hundred yards away from us, how can we say we're fulfilling the Great Commission? It starts here. It starts with our circle right here. May we pray for it, but may we not just pray. Let's put boots to the ground and actually do something. Getting involved, asking the Bryans how you can get involved, grabbing one of these and praying and and touching base with the teachers. How can I pray? What what student can I pray for specifically? We're not going to give out all the details of family issue. We're not going to do that. But, you know, I know our teachers well enough that they would say, would you pray for my class specifically my class, maybe the boys in my class. They really need some prayer. Pray for the girls in my class. They really need some prayer. And get involved in helping out in that school. I know our staff would 
love it if they knew that this church cared enough to not just see them at graduations and, and programs and think, oh yeah, they're involved over there, but to actually talk with them throughout the year, pray for them throughout the year, and get involved throughout the year. Let's go ahead and uh, close with a word of prayer. Yes, absolutely. Amen. Amen. And you know, God bless because of that group of people, but we cannot rest on the blessings of the past, right? We look back, stirring up your, uh, your pure minds by way of remembrance. We look at the blessings of the past, not to be stuck in the past, but to move forward for the Lord. Thank you very much for that. Let's, let's close in a word of prayer and we will be dismissed this afternoon. By the way, thank you, staff, that were able to come in and just be a part of us this afternoon. We thank you for doing that for us. Let's go ahead and go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we thank you for the school. We thank you for the staff. We thank you for the families and the students. Lord, I pray that you would do a mighty work. May this church family, just like 51 years ago, be a group that sees not just the need, but the excitement, get excited about what you can do through the ministry of Juniata Christian School. May we be at work with these teachers, with the families. May we be in prayer for them each and every day. Lord, thank you so much for who you are and what you've been able to do. I think of the, the many, many, many graduates who have gone on still tied to the same power source still tied to you, have gone on into their own life and their own circle of influence and seen mighty works done for you. I pray that we would continue to see that. Would you protect this ministry this year? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. We're not going to sing to close things off. Uh, and uh, make sure right at the back of the auditorium you grab one or two or three of the the bookmarks for the different grades and pray fervently and reach out. Maybe grab one of the teachers here that's uh, this, here this afternoon and, and ask them how you can be a prayer partner with them this year, right? God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us. You are dismissed.